Hey friends, today I am partnering with Pop Sugar and Rimmel to bring you this rockin' glam look. It is Taylor Swift inspired because she is just one of my absolute favorites and I love that she's always reminding me to shake it off. I've already applied the Rimmel BB Cream Matte, which as you can see, really just evens out my skin tone without looking heavy or cakey. As usual, I am going to set everything with my Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder, focusing mainly underneath my eyes and down along my T-zone. This is my all-time favorite setting powder because it never looks cakey, but it definitely keeps everything in place. Not only is the Rimmel Stay Matte Primer great for underneath your makeup, but it is awesome for priming your eyes as well. Taylor doesn't have a lot of contouring going on, but I am going to warm up my face with the Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. I absolutely love these bronzers. I've been using them for years, and they just have great pigmentation and staying power. She also doesn't have much in the way of blush, but I am going to use one of the new Stay Blushed Liquid Cheek Tints. This is in the shade Touch of Berry, and I just put a tiny bit on the back of my hand and then dab that in with a dense synthetic brush, but you could of course use your fingertips as well. I absolutely love these things. They really act like a stain on your cheeks, but they are so easy to use and they just last all day long. Taylor's shadows in this look are really soft and neutral, so I am using this Glam Eyes Trio in the shade Spices. Starting out with the light cream shade, I am dusting this along my brow bone and then into the corners of my eyes. With the pink shade, I am going to sweep this along into my crease and this will just act as a little bit of a transition shade. And then lastly, with that brown, I am going to sweep this all over the main part of the lid, buffing it into that pink shade so that everything is nice and blended. I'm also going to sweep some of that brown along the lower lash line as well. To make my eyes appear wide and bright like Taylor's, I am going to sweep some of the Rimmel Exaggerate eyeliner in the shade In the Nude along my lower waterline. Next, I am going to use the Exaggerate liner in the shade Blackest Black to create the amazing winged liner that she is rocking for this look. I'm going to start by lining my upper waterline and then just proceeding to line my upper lash line as usual. You guys have heard me talk about the Rimmel Scandalize eyeliners on my channel before. I absolutely love them, but I must say these Exaggerate liners are even better because they have the same great staying power, are just as soft and easy to work with, but also are automatic. So that is a huge win. As you can see now, I am just drawing the wing and then filling that in. When you're creating such a dramatic wing, you really want to take your time and then be sure that both of your wings are even. Now I am going to sweep a little bit of this down along my lower lash line, focusing mainly on the outer corner. These eyeliners also have a convenient little smudger on the other end, so now I'm going to use that to smoke out that lower lash line. Next, it's time to curl those lashes. To complete the eyes, I am going to use my current mascara, Obsession. This is the new Scandalize Rockin' Curves Mascara. The Broken Heart Wand is the first of its kind and is curved to fit the lash line and really just grab each and every one of those lashes. The formula is so amazing. It does not flake or smudge, and as you can see, just gives you mega volume for lashes that are amped up and lifted. On to that amazing red lip. I'm starting out with my Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade Ravish. Basically, you see these in every single one of my tutorials because they are my all-time favorite lip liners. They work so amazingly. They're easy to use and really just give your lipstick complete staying power. I'm pretty sure I have these in every single color. So as you can see, I am lining my lips and then filling them in. Then I am going to top that with the Moisture Renew lipstick in the shade Diva Red. This is a gorgeous lip color for fall. I know I'm going to be wearing this a ton, but these lipsticks are so hydrating. They do not dry out my lips. 
but the pigmentation is wonderful and they do have great staying power. And now we just seem to be missing one thing. There we go. This is the final look and I hope you all have enjoyed this Taylor Swift inspired tutorial. The hater is going to hate, but we always have to remember to just shake it off. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!